From Hollywood to India, when two worlds collide, someone has to pick up the broken pieces. Get ready for a journey with a prince, and not just any prince, His Royal Highness, Prince Manvendra Singh Gohil of Rajpipla, India, and his entourage. We'll get to them in a second. His family has ruled this region of India for 600 years, way before their independence from Britain in 1947. Hello, I'm Prince Manvendra Singh Gohil of Rajpipla, India. Welcome to my world of unordinary behavior and activity. The biggest controversy is that he's the first openly gay prince and his coming out was not accepted by many, including the king and the queen, who haven't spoken to him in seven years. Say what? Yeah. So we then ask, will he or will he not be heir to the throne? A lot of people, a lot of homophobic people in our society, which includes even my family. For me, it was important to give freedom to the gays. The commitment which I have taken when I came out as gay was that I need to free India. I need to free the gay community in India. Now back to his closest confidants, Duke D'Andre, Sylvester, his 91-year-old assistant, and Rob and Josh, two Hollywood heavy hitters who are here to make over the prince and the Pink Palace. My name is Rob Van Helden. I'm a celebrity floral designer. Some of the celebrities that I've been lucky enough to work for are Sir Elton John, David Beckham, Piers Brosnan. Hey, I'm Josh Johnson, an interior designer and fashion stylist. I am beyond thrilled to actually work with real royalty. For someone like Prince Van Vendra, who is so authentic, it makes it even more of a treat. Hi, I'm DeAndre, Duke of Hanumanteshwar. Royal Consultant to His Highness Prince Mamvindra. Hello, Your Highness. Hi, Prince Mamvindra. How are you? Hi, I'm so sorry we couldn't be at your uh, birthday celebration. But you could be there. But we're going to make up for it. Next Take year. Time. We're already planning the big event for next year. Tell us what you did this year. Did you shake it like it was nasty? <laughs> did you drop it like it was hot? It's a music festival basically to promote Indian classical and dance. So in the next six months, I can't wait to get my hands on to Prince Manvendra's Pink Palace together with Josh, you know, and gave it a proper makeover to get ready for his big 50th birthday celebrations next year. So Rob and I have seen pictures of this Pink Palace. It leaves a lot to be desired. And let me just say, honey, someone left the cake out in the rain. <laughs> it should be opulent, it should be fabulous in every respect. Really should be Bollywood gangster if you want to be real about it. It's not actually just gay rights, it's, it's human rights. We are human beings. It's important for the society to take us as and accept us as what the others are. Me and Prince have been founding members of this organization, Luxury Trust, since last 14 years now. The family disowned him, the mother, uh, you know, uh, I thought we were the only drag queens. <laughs> but his mother became the bigger one. <laughs> There's so much dysfunction, only Prince Manvendra's closest confidants can fix what's broken. I'm DeAndre, Duke of Hanumanteshwar. Welcome. Oh my lord in heaven, Hannah Montesma is a farm? <laughs> Upgrade. Will this quirky bunch of opposites from around the globe be too close for comfort? So I'm hearing some things going around in the atmosphere that Duke Deandre or Deandre of the farm has a problem with me, maybe thinking I'm moving in on his territory with the prince, but let me just tell you, I got my own package, honey boo boo. Well, I can tell you that I'm here to do my job and I'm not going to be part of any drama between Duke and uh, Josh. So let them get on with it. I'm doing my job and I'm off. In the end, what's the prince's biggest obstacle? I think the biggest obstacle which I'm facing is the, the very challenge that uh, whether we are going to get our rights. Life has taught me a lot of lessons and each lesson I've tried to imbibe in my life. And I always have this uh, one slogan, be, be positive but not HIV positive. Stay tuned for upcoming episodes to find out what's in Prince Manvendra's closet. Can Rob and Josh transform the Pink Palace? Does the Queen break her silence of seven years? And most importantly, will he gain his freedom and remain heir to the throne?